So a bunch of you have asked me now numerous times on how the steering works on the pontoon boat. So I'm gonna walk over there right now. And I'm gonna show you how. All right, so all we really have here is a linkage system. Now, this is not gonna be my permanent setup. I kept it for this summer just because, you know, I've got a lot of things going on, a lot of projects, I've got a family. So here's what we got. We've got the two throttle controls right there. That controls the left motor, that controls the right motor. Um, I extended the wires all the way. My two batteries sit right here. I keep them on a trickle charger all the time uh, in my shed. And then when I wanna actually use the boat, I just bring them out, hook them up, test the motors real quick, make sure they're still working, and we go from there. So here's how the steering works. So basically you push it forward to turn to the left and you pull it back to turn it to the right. Um, you got a pivot point here and a pivot point there. And there's just a long linkage rod that comes all the way over here. Now here's where the forces get transferred. I actually had these motors locked because when I drove it last down the road, you don't want them flying around. So the linkage comes straight back from there to this broom handle, which is, it's actually a broom handle and then one inch PVC pipe. And then it all pivots on that. And when all this is pivoting, it pivots both motors in each direction. Now, everyone's always said, you don't need this. You could just run one throttle and then it'll turn to the left. And this one in reverse, you know what? On a canoe? Yeah, not on one of these. That's for sure. I need, I need to be able to steer these motors. It makes it maneuvering 10 times better. So yeah, so basically pivots here. All right, so it's super easy to steer this thing. Super easy, like look at that one hand, one finger, not even, right? So in the middle is obviously straight. You push to the left, you pull to the right. And then with the controls right there, you can sit right here. You don't have to dilly dally and walk around. You can just sit in one spot and relax. Got the American flag flying high. Those love freedom. But in reality, yeah, that's literally how it works. You can grab one motor, turn it. And then when I'm going down the road, like to the lake, I twist these guys shut. Uh, these basically just hold the trolling motor from moving. So now it's like, it's locked, you know. Now I won't bounce around when I'm going down the road. I don't need to be flopping around. Now, eventually I'm going to build this linkage out of metal. I'll probably do that this year because I really like the way it came out. I, I legitimately, honestly, just built it this way as a mock-up. And then I wanted to take it, down the, take it down the river to make sure, or the lake, make sure it works. I mean, these are pickets from my my the railing on my deck and we're like leftover warped ones like you can see how warped these things are <laughs> and so you know like this one was broken so i was like uh oh, slap a linkage together but i primarily did this to test it and it worked so well i just ran it the whole summer now we're going to build it out of steel and we're going to use probably like i don't know heim joints or something besides you know this is just raw wood. You can get a splinter. <laughs> I know I won't, but if anyone else drives it. So, yeah. So, for those of you who want to know how my steering works, that's how it works. And that's it. It's that simple. So, I hope this uh, information is good for you guys. And you want to build your own pontoon boat. You can build something similar to mine. The whole cable and drum system didn't really work out for me too well. I tried it, but more of a pain in the butt than it was worth so that's why i went with a linkage it worked out great if you guys haven't seen my uh pallet deck video you should go check that out but all right well until next time see you later